Oh, hello, welcome back to my channel and to another action video. I'm just going to be checking out the pitch meeting for the Marvels. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's a sequel to Captain Marvel. Oh, boy. And WandaVision. Oh, and Miss Marvel. All right. And Secret Invasion, kind of. So it was like a sequel to 16 hours of content across three shows and a movie? Yeah, and it'd be preferable if viewers had watched all of that. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's a Marvel movie without a bit of homework? So what happens in this thing? Well, we've got this villain, Darben, right? And she's kind of angry because Captain Marvel's actions have kind of killed her planet, Hala. All right. As long as we're not doing one of those generic, forgettable <laughs> villains, people are really sick of forgettable villains. Oh, trust yeah. me, sir. Darben's anything but forgettable. Who's Darben? <laughs> okay, that's not a good sign. Anyway, this villain wants to get her hands on these two bangles. Ah, so she heads to Cincinnati? What? No, these are like quantum bands. Oh, okay. And so Darben, who? who is the villain, has one, and also Kamala Khan, aka Miss Marvel, has one too. She's from Miss Marvel! And Darben uses hers to create a jump point in space, which causes all kinds of wackiness. What kind of wackiness? Well, since Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel and Monica Rambo have light-based powers, they switch places when any of them use their powers simultaneously. Shouldn't Amelia Clark's character from Secret Invasion be switching with them too? Hey, shut up, and so these characters take off to a planet yeah. called Tarnax, and I'll then Nick Fury takes Kamala Khan's family onto his space station. Well, why would he bring them there? For safety. That seems incredibly unsafe. Well, see, sir, the thing is... I want them in the movie. They're funny. Fair enough. So what happens next? Well, Nick Fury's gonna crack jokes the whole time. You know Nick Fury. We just had him being pretty depressed and brooding in Secret Invasion. Get really funny stuff. So then Darben is gonna steal all the breathable air from this planet and send it back home to Hala. That's space balls. Your space balls. Oh, uh, my space balls are tight. Okay, carry on. You got me. So now Miss Marvel wants to stay behind and save all the people <laughs> from this dying planet, but Captain Marvel's like, no, we save who we can. We gotta get out of here. Oh. Yeah, so we're gonna see Miss Marvel be like, what the heck? Oh, she's disappointed in her hero. That's an interesting thing to explore. Definitely. It's gonna be a super interesting 20 seconds. We're not diving in deeper than that. Well, no, there's no time. No. Why not? I've already moved on. Oh, okay, I didn't realize. So then they go to this other planet where yeah, everybody wait, sings, and if you don't sing, they don't understand you. What? And Captain Marvel is a princess, and she sings, and she wears a princess dress, and she sings too. What is going on? A bunch of cute space kittens gobble people up, but then they spit them <laughs> out, out to safety, and that's their, th those are kitten, th they're heroes now. Hey, excuse me, what are you talking about? All right, full disclosure, I did one of those take your daughter to work days and let my four-year-old take a crack at some of these scenes. Oh, cute. All right, that clears that up. And then the bad guys are going to attack. Hey, since these people are musical, it could be cool to do some kind of musical fighting style. No. All right. And now Darben wants to steal the sun from Earth. Uh-oh, we need that thing for tanning purposes. Now, who's Darben? That, she's the villain. And what's her deal? I, I told you about Darben already. I did that. No, nope, doesn't ring a bell. Oh, that's not great. All right, anyway, now the Marvels need to fight her. Very exciting. And Darben's gonna get both quantum bands and tear a frickin' hole in space-time and die. Not good. Yeah, so now Monica Rambo has no choice but to close this hole from the other side. Why can't she close it from their own side? Because that's what I wrote here. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> and so now <laughs> that, that the universe and sense. Earth are saved, Captain Marvel's gonna go back to Hala and try to save that planet, too. Oh, she is? Yeah, she's gonna tell Miss Marvel, I'm gonna bring Hala back, girl. I mean, that sounds like it's gonna be tough. It's not just gonna happen like that. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, Oh, really? Yes, she flies into the sun and makes it hot again with her powers. I mean, if she has the power to reignite a sun with her powers, how is this villain difficult for her to beat at all? Well, no, she had to she had to learn the power of friendship and stuff. That works. And so that's about <laughs> it. What do you think? I mean, it sounds like some Marvel content. I think we just need a bit more to get people excited for marketing purposes. We can cut a trailer that kind of reminds people of older MCU movies that they really like and be like, hey, this is connected to that. Yeah, I mean, let's definitely play that card and throw that Yeah, in so that let's trailer. Also that's awesome. Beast into a mid credit scene, get people talking about X Men. Oh, yeah, that'll get word of mouth real buzzy. Uh, Fill that was a up. positive surprise, not gonna lie. Yeah, Beast in the, in the credit scene was positive surprise for sure, but let's have, that, have to see what we get out of that one. And yeah, Money Garambo going to the other universe to close up the sky hole. Yeah, sure, why not? But yeah, and I love how they picked on Darwin, by far the worst MCU villain. Uh, no offense to the actress, she, play, she did what was told, but yeah, the character, uh, uh, the character was just so damn forgettable. I feel like when people, say, uh, people have been saying that Marvel should, should go back to its roots for uh, for the sake of the MCU, I guess they, uh, 
They took it to heart and took their and brought out the <laughs> bad villains to the back, so here we are. And yeah, and they pointed it out that whenever they these three use their powers at the same time they switch places. I swear there were a few times in the movie where they did that without you know uh without switching places but yeah and uh, yeah the we did get the cat whatever the the um the alien name to, to that species was and yeah they, they, it was all it was a very strange scene and the singing planet though it was a kind of a fun scene it felt really much out of place for mcu and yeah in secret invasion we got the depressed uh nick fury and here he was cracking jokes so and in both cases people are complaining about nick fury <laughs> why doesn't he do this and that and yeah And yeah, there, there was so much potential, especially they pointed it out at how when Miss Marvel finds out about what Captain Marvel had done, they go, they're going to be in a good story arc, you know, having uh, coming to face to face with the fact that her hero is, you know, very much flawed. But, but good as to the actress who played. Uh, Miss Marvel, I for forgot her name. She was by far the best part. She really, she really was in the time of her life. But yeah. And now the Marvel sits. And I keep seeing headlines that it's a huge flop. We'll just have to see how big of a flop it's going to be. I don't think it's been released all over the world yet, just yet. But yeah, I mean, the Marvel movies have been going on a downward spiral for a while now. I think it would be best if they just, you know, took a break. A few years break. I mean, I think a lot of MCU stuff is getting postponed at the moment. So hopefully they'll get their act together. But yeah, anyway, what do you guys think? Let your thoughts down below. Open to my reaction. Drop a comment, like, subscribe if you want to know what's in another video.